working on a 95 Dodge Ram 2500 here. Um, pretty well along on tearing stuff apart. Just thought I'd show uh, the cam install here. Just a couple steps, not the whole process. Um, right now I have the transmission out of it, and the head off of it, and the injection pump out of it. Uh, sent all that off over to Power Driven Diesel to be re rebuilt. Um, so I'll show you over here what I'm doing with the cam. Um, to do the cam job, um, you know, you're going to have to take your front cover off, your radiator, bumper, intercooler, AC condenser, all that stuff out of the way. So you have enough room to pull that forward. Um, with me having a transmission out, uh, the motor is angled down at the back, so... Um, if you got your transmission still in the truck, you might have to drop the back end down enough to get the, uh, the cam gear to cross this cross member here. I'm not sure. Um, first time ever doing this. So just something to keep in, keep in mind when you're doing it. Um, but you're going to need a two inch piece of pipe, either plastic PVC or aluminum. And then, uh, you just take and cut it in half like that so you can slide it in there and then it has a little tray for your lifters to slide on back and forth. Um, next thing you're going to need is a piece of string and some kind of um, keeper to go down inside the end of the lifter where the uh, push rod sits. It's got to go down inside of there and be pretty snug um, while you're moving it around so it doesn't fall down inside your oil pan if you still have your oil pan on there um, I have my oil pan off right now because I'm replacing the gasket and welding the bung in for uh, compound turbos later on down the road so uh, I'll show you what you got to do here to get this started um, once your uh, piece is in there just pull that up enough so it's Lift it out of the way, flip your tray over, and then it'll drop down in the tray there. And then uh, you can see it sitting down in there. I just made this little rod. Just pull, pull on it, and it'll pull right out there for you. Pull it on out of the way. Take your thing out take your old lifter out and get your new lifter set it up here get your little plug and it could use a wooden dowel rubber plug whatever you want to use just something that sits down in there pretty snug and then take your string, pull your string up, and when you do this, um, I found that the old ones come out okay, but it seems like when you put the new one in, it always kind of gets stuck there. Sometimes you might be able to push it, but you're probably going to have to pull the tray back and let the lifter dangle and then pull it up in the air. So just pull your tray back out of the way so the lifter can dangle and you can pull it up through the hole and then put your tray back in there and flip it over so the lifter is sitting on the top of the tray so it can't go nowhere, it can't drop back down and then you're back there. Um, I've been using zip ties. You can use zip tie or clothespin or a lot of people use the wooden dowels that go down through where the push rods go and, and hammer those in there to keep it. Um, just whatever you're doing. Um, I just found this is probably a little bit simpler for me since I have everything tore apart right there to get to it. Um, it is kind of a pain in the butt using the zip ties though, trying to do it with one hand. And uh, 
make sure they're tight. Um, I'll show you uh, the cam here once I get that ready to go. Okay, so once you got your old cam out there, um, you got to press your cam gear off of your old cam to put on your new one. So I just got it here in the press, got the, uh, the gear against there, and press the old cam out here. Okay, so once you uh, press your cam gear off your stock cam, uh, you want to watch for this uh, keyway in there. Um, that keyways to your gear on your cam. And then your new cam will have that keyway in there. And you'll have to reuse this and put it on there and uh, line it all up when you press your gear back onto your new cam. This cam here is a Hamilton Cams 178-208. Um, that's what the uh, guys at Power Driven Diesel recommended for me. I'm uh, hoping to eventually make somewhere around 700, 750 horsepower um, with compound turbos. Uh, right now I just have a uh, 362 turbo on it and I'm going to use that as my small turbo for when I uh, decide to do that so but they said this is a, a pretty good cam they said uh, the 188 220 that a lot of people use he said uh, he didn't think that much a little bit bigger of a cam would really do much for uh, what I'm hoping to accomplish here um, but when I get this new gear pressed on I'll show you what that looks like so that's what it looks like when you get the uh, old cam gear pressed onto your new cam. You got your uh, keyway lined up there. And then uh, just your mark right here on the cam. Then lines up with your mark right here on your crank. When you put that back in there slide it all in and uh that way everything's lined up and you're good to go so that's pretty much all um with the cam just make sure you take put some assembly lube on there and uh just slide it on in line up your marks and you're ready to go bolt everything back together